Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you the file cabinet system in NetSuite. And the file cabinet is basically a repository for all attachments and files that have been brought into NetSuite. So let's take a look at this. So here we are on our dashboard. And before I get into the file cabinet itself, let me show you an example of how an attachment would be put into the file cabinet. So let's go over here to the Joe Jones company. And let's say we just had a contract brought in from the Joe Jones company, one of our customers. So we want to attach that contract to this record. So if we scroll down to the communication sub tab and go to the files sub list, and if we go down here to new file, we have the ability to attach a file from our computer. So I'm going to call this the customer contract. It's going to go into a folder in the file cabinet called attachments received, and we are able to select the file. So let's draw from this customer contract here. And if I hit save, we've now attached this PDF to this customer record. So now that we've done that, let's take a look at the file cabinet. So first off, if we go over to documents down to files, you'll see file cabinet right there. And this is the file cabinet. So there's a few different parts of this that I'll break it down. First off, we have the folders themselves. All of the folders that are included in the file cabinet are here. So you can kind of dig through there as needed. You also have this hierarchy system on the left. So if you want to dig into files, you can click uh, and get the ability to kind of drill down into various paths. You also have the search bar here. So if I type in customer contract, which is the name of the file that I just attached, hit search, and it immediately comes up with that PDF that I just attached. So a couple other options that we have here. If we go over here, we have new folder. And if we click that, and that simply gives you the ability to add a folder in the file cabinet system. So you can type out what the name is. You can also add uh, any kind of restriction. For example, if you're dealing with certain files that are quite sensitive and you don't want any employee in the company to be able to see them, you can set whatever restrictions are applicable. So let's head back. All right, and the next thing I want to take a look at is move files. So if you click on that, it basically shows you all the existing files. And understand this file cabinet doesn't have drag and drop capability. So if you want to move or copy a file in the file cabinet, you have to actually select the file, go up to this filters, and then click where you want to move that to. So you know if you want to move it into the demos files folder, then you have to click that, and then you would hit move and it would move that folder in there. And if you click on the copy feature, which I'll show you back here, this copies files feature gives you the exact same page. It just, instead of moving it, it's gonna make a copy in that location. So that's something to think with. You can also delete files. It's very simple. It'll just give you a series of options and you can click on them. Uh, when you're down here in the main files area, or I should say folders area, you have the ability to edit those folders. So you can add restrictions, you can change the name of them, etc. And you also have the ability to simply download the folders right there. So if you have a bunch of receipts or things that are attached in a folder and you now need to bring them onto your computer, you have the ability to download them there. Of course, that is if you have the access to and the permissions to access that folder. The last thing I wanna show you on this is the advanced add. And that basically gives you the option to download a zipped folder and it will automatically unzip it in the file cabinet for you. So if we head back, the final thing I wanna point out is if you come over here and you see these file sizes, it's important to be careful and kind of be aware of how much space you're using up in your file cabinet because your file cabinet will have a limit of space. It might be 10 gigabytes. It might be more depending on your NetSuite. You can find out that information on the setup tab in the navigation bar. But if you hit a point where you've now attached too many files or the file sizes are too big and you've hit the limit of your file cabinet, you either have to pay to have the file cabinet increased in size, or you have to go through a process of basically deleting files, which they might sound easy, but it can actually be quite tedious. So I highly recommend you just be cognizant of how much you're bringing into the file cabinet against how much size you have available. And that's your basic overview on the NetSuite file cabinet. I'll see you in the next video.